Ghosts, Ghosts, Witches, Devil, Dracula. Heavy metal music, hard drinking, mayhem. Dracula. What's up, everybody? Put down your crack pipes and beer bongs because you're listening to the Drunk in a Graveyard podcast, and it's me, Robin. And Scott. And Rigby. <laughs> Rigby. <laughs> Wait, you got your, did you get your name wrong? <laughs> no, I was, no, while the intro was going, I was reading this and I thought that the devil made me poo it. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to be talking about the the Conjuring Three. The devil made me do it. <laughs> no, what was your idea, Scott? <laughs> oh boy, the Conjuring Three. The con is on. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The con is on. Do 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 do. Yeah, because so, it's about our favorite con artists. Like the, the Warrens, big, like the biggest hucksters of all yeah. time, like the biggest charlatan hucksters. So we're going to be following... I promise this won't be 100% another episode of me yelling about the Warrens. Patrick this Wilson. 25% of it will be. Yeah. We can only we can only promise so much. It's like the Warrens. You uh, uh, under-promise and over-deliver? They under-promised and under-delivered. Well, well, I think that's just how it is. So we're going to be following up uh, our last episode where we talked about Annabelle come... An- Hell's full, so Annabelle come back... <laughs> This is a real Patrick Wilson power hour we've had here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Don't worry. Next episode, it'll be no Patrick Wilson. Oh, that's too bad. But it'll be sexy. Oh, boy. It's because it's 169, and we're going to be yes. feeling fine. Ew. 69. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, buddy. Yo, buddy. Okay, so let's talk about uh, The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It. Uh, it was directed by Michael Chavs. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that relevant? Because he know. directed it. Who he, else? What else? Yanking him off. What else? Is he. Fucking... I think he also did uh, the Curse of La La Rona. Oh, I haven't, I seen, haven't seen it. No. no, I haven't seen it. Oh shit! We should watch it. We could. Yep. But I just think his last name's funny, like a chav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the screenplay was written by David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick. You have four names. <laughs> yeah, pick one and stick with it, idiot. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick. Fucking save some for the rest of us. <laughs> Jesus. Johnson McGoldrick is hyphenated. So this is the eighth installment in the Conjuring wow, universe. Wow, wee, what? Yeah, it's an expanded universe. It's like oh. a cinematic universe. Oh, when are they yeah, going to get like their the, own Disney it, Plus show? Ooh. It's like the MCU. Yeah. What is the MCU? Marvel Cinematic Universe, dum dum, catch up, bitch. <laughs> I don't know if they should be throwing the word cinematic around. That's what pissed Scorsese off. Oh, yeah. that's fair. <laughs> yeah. So this is based on the real life trial of Arnie Shane Johnson. Arnie, like, it's, okay, I'm it's sorry, Arnie. No, Arnie, what? Arnie Shane Johnson. It's a Cheyenne. <laughs> I think it's isn't it Shane? <laughs> No, that is definitely C H E Y E N N E is not Shane. Uh. <laughs> remember, remember when you saw the word Jeffrey <laughs> spelled out? Geoff? <laughs> and Geoff is my name. It's like Geff the Talking Mongoose. Oh boy. Yeah, that's another favorite story of mine, which I wish we were talking about instead of this. Mm. So it's based on this murder trial that took place in 1981, Connecticut. And I believe it was also partially inspired by, like, this movie was inspired by the book The Devil in Connecticut. <laughs> yes. Connecticut. Connecticut. Uh, which the, which the uh, Warrens made money off of. Oh, and fucking surprise. They gave $2,000 to the Glatzel family. $2,000 in $1981 is like $4,000. Yeah, so I was going to say, let's not get crazy here. <laughs> yeah. uh, so... The development for this took place in 2016, and then it was filmed in 2019. Oh, boy. And then they just kind of sat on that one well, for a little baby. I don't know. It was kind of a world event last year. Yeah, the panorama. <laughs> <laughs> the bananarama. I don't know. I so don't know if you heard about it. We pa- just watched the, this. The panoramic took place, and it was weird, and I feel weird about it. <sighs> but um, So this had Vera Farmi- Farm- Farmigia. Vera Parmesan. Yeah, yes. Vera Parmesan yeah. and Patrick Wilson, uh, Night Owl, 
banged Lena Dunham. I think he's handsome. <laughs> no, Rigby, it's 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 just we're not stopping there. We're not getting. To no, this train doesn't stop at that stop anymore. No, that's too bad. No, he's not sixty yet. He's not. He's too okay. young for you. Wait, how old is Patrick that's Wilson? Let's find out. He's forty-seven. I looked up earlier. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't only like men who are 60. He looks older than that, Rigby. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're into him. I don't only like old men. Yeah, you Not like, only. Yeah, you like them young and then you like them real old. The youngest person I think is good looking is like 26. Sure. <sighs> <laughs> so we don't we don't need Chris Hansen in here. Just stop. Shutting Rigby down. Yeah, For, right? Thinking she's a like, grown like my... man is good looking. She's like, I like my men to look like anime don't, ladies. Don't. That's so mean. <laughs> Their faces just look like that. I wasn't talking about BTS in particular. Uh, I was meaning in general. Uh, like, I feel like I'm the same way, though. Like, I like my guys to be really femmy looking and alternately, like, gilfs. Yeah, I'm into Wait. that. Which you, one are you? Yeah, where do I land on this? You're like in the middle. <laughs> yeah, you're somewhere. so I'm just a guy. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. I like him looking kind of weirdly feminine, really old, or a guy. Sick. <laughs> old yeah. men. Yeah. Sick. Tall mm. guy with a big hog. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, moving on. We're not stopping at <laughs> Big Hog Station. <laughs> I would like to. <laughs> I think we stop there frequently. All right. So, I fucking hate the Warrens so much. Like, just... Thinking about them makes me angry, and watching a two and a half hour movie about nothing. It was two hours. It was only two hours. Oh, it was two hours. Yeah, it felt like it an was eternity. This, it this w- felt like the Snyder cut of bad Bumhouse movies. That's was insulting done, to the Snyder cut. Was this, I, this is the only time you'll hear me defend it. I don't think this was a Bumhouse. It was a. Of I course, it's a Bumhouse. Bumhouse. I don't think it was. <laughs> Scroll down, and it'll show you the dispar- distri- uh, distribution company. Distributed by Warner Brothers. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I don't the think this Saffron was a Bumhouse. The company. Hmm. Well, that might explain the lack of Bumhouse mouth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways. So, in the 1981 times, which still looks like the 1970 times, yeah. in that there was Pyrex dishes, Ed and Lorraine Warren, everyone's favorite, like, loser hucksters, are, like... Invited to a, a local BBQ. Or wait, no, they go to an exorcism, which turns into a BBQ. Which, like, that's a great idea for a summer pool party. We'll do the exorcism at 11, and then we'll have the BBQ at 1230. Yeah. So we gotta wrap it up before then. I like it. So, keeps things tight. You know, you have you have a thing you need to do afterwards. It keeps you focused. Sorry. Yeah, time is money. Time is money. So they go to the Glatzel, Glatzel family home and there's a little dude like a little nerd kid who looks like a little mini living version of millhouse meets <laughs> jeffrey dahmer like yeah. he's like a baby jeffrey dahmer meets baby millhouse and he's like nah, i'm possessed by the devil somehow he also slept in his glasses i need to bring that up yeah that bothers me <laughs> well i do that you no you don't, don't. don't. <laughs> okay. no like and I don't know why, like, it's such a stupid thing, but, like, you couldn't have spared the second for this kid to, like, scramble in the dark, in, like, the dark to put his, pick up his glasses, and, like, you could have had something with that where he's like, oh, it's unfocused, I can't see, what, do I see something? And then you put the glasses on, oh, no, it's not something, I better go off and freak the That's fuck out. That's because you wear glasses, so this is an experience that you've had. The people who made this movie were, like, glasses or, like, uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they're, like, bolted on. <laughs> You strap those fucking things to your skull, yeah, man. Like hair extensions. <laughs> Jesus. So the little weird glasses are like the fake tits for your face. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> um, the uh, so the kid is possessed. He's possessed, but they don't know why. And he's he does like an old like I'm scared. It's time for me to go to bed. But it's clearly three thirty in the afternoon, so I guess I better go to sleep now. And Ed Warren. Who this family lets alone with their child for some reason is like, okay, good night, son. Uh, they had, and then they had, uh, so the gang's all there, Ed, Lorraine, this, several looky loos. This guy that works for them that I was like, who is this fool? Yeah, he's the cameraman. He was like their assistant. Yeah, he's the gopher. He was their gopher. Yeah, he's and a little PA. The mom and the dad of the possessed boy and the sister of the possessed boy and the boyfriend of the sister of the possessed boy. And Say then, possessed boy one more time. And then it's a fun drinking game for at home. You'll summon 
a demon. <laughs> Uh, and then the a priest comes in, and the movie's like, "Hey, remember the, remember the much better movie, The Exorcist? Here's a scene that we ripped off from it." Oh my god! Like he gets out of the cab, and yeah, then you see him in profile, overhead light. That's yeah. a, I don't know where it's coming from because <laughs> it's a farm. The heavens, house. yeah, heaven is where it came from. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're like, we gotta do this. I don't. They put the kid to bed, and then what, I don't know what they were doing downstairs. They, they, were, they, they were having. They were getting ready for the orgy. Do you know what they were doing? <laughs> That's though? how you pay the Warrens. Do you know what they were doing? They were yeah. playing feely mealy. <laughs> <laughs> feely mealy did not make an appearance in this movie. Fucking. We were boo. close. We thought at the end. Yeah, uh, we, we definitely thought. But no, the, the family was all. They were setting up. <laughs> Yeah, they, they put the kid to bed. It like no, like they had tried to exercise him, and they're like, "Well, first they tried to run him around the yard a few times. That didn't work." And then we're like, mm, "I don't know. I guess he's possessed." We'll just tire him out <laughs> like a those dog. Dog leads. <laughs> so they put him on. They put him on like the like the clothesline yeah. and just let him go. But then they were like, "It's four thirty in the afternoon, so we better put him to bed, and then we'll just wait for the Warrens to show up." No, and... the Warrens were there. Oh, right. The priest. You oh, needed the priest yeah. to show up. Then the, you know, a, a really... real, like, real, air quotes, accredited <laughs> church person, because Ed Warren was just a guy. Yeah. He's he just a guy who was... He was, was, a, he was yeah. a demonologist, Scott. Yeah. yeah, he was like a shitty Constantine. But they were waiting for the real priest to show up so they could get the party started. <laughs> so the kid goes to bed, and they're like, don't worry, we'll jolt you awake in a couple of minutes <laughs> when the priest gets here. And then the kid went in the bathroom and saw a spooky ghost. He got his period in the... Shower. It did have a cool bit yes. with like the the shower rings where yes, it was like the one of them was a hand and it just like slowly like released from the yeah, the shower cool. rod. That's a bit I'm gonna do the next time you're in the shower. <laughs> awesome. You gonna get a ladder to get yeah. up there? Like <laughs> I'll just stand on the edge of the tub and then when you freak out, I'll be like ba bam, hit my head on yeah. the shower head on the counter. Like, Rigby won't hear from us for a couple days. She'll come over here fucking found us dead in the bathroom because we've scared each other it's because we did it for the devilment yeah the devil the made drop. us do it i thought you were gonna say i did it for the vine and i was about to come across this fucking table at you no i think now it would be did it for the tiktok oh the tiktok did i tell you my greatest fear of being sheesh, of being in a tiktok video i'm really i'm paranoid of seeing teens do a tiktok video and then, like, they, like, record me, like, just going about my day. And then they're like, look at this old woman. <laughs> just, like, you scratching your ass at the grocery <laughs> store buying <laughs> chuggy soda pop. When I go, when I come home, you know how there's, like, the high school at the yeah. intersection? If it's getting out of school or anything like that, I turn my music completely off and sit and stare straight ahead. Because I'm so afraid of teens yeah. making fun of me. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it this week. <laughs> Me driving and yeah, swimming? Yeah. Scott said he saw you yesterday and you look like you were going to kill yourself driving around the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, right? Lot. Parked by the high school. Or not parked. Not, not parked. <laughs> okay, uh, careful, careful. Yeah, uh, waiting Oops, at the stoplight. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to look cool for teens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm well, scared they'll make you fun do, of me. You have like this fear of teens. <laughs> so afraid of them. You're fucked up. <laughs> Anyways... So Better the, drive home to watch shows about demons. <laughs> I want these teens to to gudge me. <laughs> Only God can gudge me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, I love that. Um, so, anyways, the little boy's like, blah, 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 and they're like, come on. <laughs> And he charges like towards the dad, and the dad has that moment that was his downfall, really. Like he didn't just cunt punt the kid, right? <laughs> like, what is the with kid's these? It's got like a blade of glass, and it's like, I mean, again, we talked about this in the last episode with like Chucky and Annabelle. Like, once you got over the shock of seeing something tiny running at you, you could just like punt oh, that yeah. kid through the wall. Yeah. He could have just closed the door and he would have thunk, banged his head That'd be on pretty the, funny. That'd be really funny. <laughs> it's like We're a scary movie when you need it. We need a new one. We need a new We need a new scary movie and we need a new Final Destination. Society has lost its way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Agree. Uh, it's like that Bill Burr bit like, where you're like, is, is that a rat? Is that mechanical? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just fucking punt it. Yeah, right? You could do it. You're, you are huge. They're so small. Well, and he stabs his dad, like, right in the leg, which is about where he was, like, his head reached to, which is slightly yeah, above the knee. him. Yeah. If that, like, that kid hitting the door, I feel would have been as funny as when we watched that weird 
reality show. Oh, about the Mormons. Yeah, about the, the kid Mormons. Walks into the dishwasher. Where the kid's like got the laundry basket <laughs> fully over his body, running around, and he just takes himself out on the dishwasher door. And then one of that guy's kids died, and nobody yeah. really noticed for a while. He's yeah. got like thirty nine of them. You're bound to lose one or two. That's the way, she, that's the, way the cookie crumbles. Yeah. That's the way she goes, boys. So they're doing an exorcist of the little boy. And then the, they're holding him down on the table, and then the priest is like, boogity boogity, or whatever the fuck. And then uh, the demon starts whipping plates around. Oh, he takes the priest out. He got domed with, like, a gravy boat. There's a lot of people just, like, going down in this movie. Yeah. Hard. It's the ridiculousness of uh, Conjuring movies. Yeah. They were also like, we're going to, originally the plan was we're going to take him to the church where there's less dishes. Like that uh, song. <laughs> I don't think that that's what it... <laughs> <laughs> That's what Hosier was singing about, getting to the church so you could perform an accurate exorcism. <laughs> With no dishware. <laughs> no, but there was, there'd be less things you to like launch so around. Seriously. <laughs> they were taking it. You're right, though. Well, because there's less, like, projectile objects yeah, to fly around. Yeah, can you just around. get a sensor and just start swinging that thing around? <laughs> like that's, a mace? Yeah. <laughs> that's very cool. Just that's dome cool the priest. That's cool as hell. Yeah. But, like, what are you going to throw around in a church? Like, a prayer book? That seems kind of, like, ineffective. Or, like, those little, psalms. like... <laughs> you gonna You're going to sing a song? Yeah, it's a psalm. Uh, like those little five cent candles you pay to light or whatever. Yeah. You can like whip a bunch of those, but that would be irritating. You're like, <laughs> you're like, like uh, all the flyers for babysitting from the community church board, bulletin board. They're giving me paper cuts. No, no, no. <laughs> the bulletin board would do you. Yeah. Um, anyways, so the little boy's possessed and then Arnie is like, <laughs> Arnie, Take- <laughs> Arnie in the sky. Oh, wait, the little boy jumps on Ed and is like, take this, you old cunt. <laughs> and gives him a heart attack. Which, like, I love that we have totally now... totally a demon child. Not, yeah. you know, the alcoholism and yeah. eating pasta. Like, I absolutely love that they have now, like, retconned their life to his bad heart <laughs> being from a fucking demon. Yeah. Like, it's not the pasta and the brandy and the, like, whatever else he was up to. <laughs> Like, no, yeah, it was no, a no. demon. I also love the idea of a demon being like, fuck you, ah, like totally like bending around and breaking this kid's bones and like hurting people. And then he's like, you know what? Heart attack for you. Like, why Slow did he just rip his head off? Why didn't he just rip his heart out? That'd be very cool. Because he wanted to see him suffer. Oh. But that'd be kind of a cool story, though. Like, you're in the hospital and they're like, hmm, I see you're on nitroglycerin and a bunch of heart meds and like. And the nurse is like, when did you have your first heart attack? And then he's like, heart attack. It wasn't, wasn't a heart attack. It was a demon, actually. And then oh, they were okay. like, oh, we're going to recommend you for uh, this other wing, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, psychologist the car- will be over to see you in a bit. Yeah, this isn't the that. cardiology department. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, and then the little boy, or the Arnie, is like, take me. <laughs> take me to church. <laughs> There's no dishes there. <laughs> Someone get hosier on the horn. Uh, and then the Which, demon's like, okay, cool. But, like, why? Like, that made no sense. He was just like, he, he starts talking to the demon, and fucking Patrick Wilson's like, no, don't don't address it. Kalel, no. <laughs> Gal Gadot was there. She was like, you can enter me. <laughs> I'd like to enter her. Okay, no, anyways. Oh, boy. Okay. That's the male gaze for mm. you. And Arnie Pie is like, hey, demon... Probably because he was like, I really want to fuck your sister. Like, this will definitely get me in Yeah, there. she'll fucking love it. Yeah. But then the demon's Remember that like, time I saved your little brother? Hey. <laughs> hey, how you Gross. doing? And then the demon's like, cool, I can go into something that's larger and stronger. Yeah, what could go wrong? Yeah. Lots of things. No. Yeah. So then afterwards, Arnie Pie is in the sky with diamonds and he's f- seeing stuff all around. He's seeing like a lady in his house. He, his landlord shows up somewhere. No, and- no, he, the, the landlord, because they live, him and his girlfriend lived in the board, like the kennel. It was like a boarding kennel. Yeah. And they lived upstairs for free rent. Cause they worked in the kennel in a house and it was full the, of barking dogs. Yeah. And it was the owner of the kennel. Yeah. The landlord. Yeah. 
Yeah. So they got into like an argument one day where the landlord was doing the old one thirty in the afternoon drunk piss up, Hell yeah, drinking brother. light beer and listening to Blondie, and then grabbed a hold Sounds of Arnie. Sounds like cabin weekend. Yeah. And then threw him through the table, and it was like, let's he, drink light beer, don't be a pussy. He <laughs> really did though. Just like shoved that can in his hand. It's like, yeah, that's party, and like threw yeah, him bro. over the table. I was like, holy fuck, yeah, this guy you, parties are you, hard. Are you buying the beer? You don't need to do like a shoving, buddy. He's like, and then. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Jesus lord. Ed is in the hospital. It smells like Korean fried chicken, huh? Oh. <laughs> Ed was in the horse pistol. <sighs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that'll be with you shortly. <laughs> yeah, Ed's in the hospital, <laughs> nattering at the nurses. I wish I was in the hospital. <laughs> I can put you there. <laughs> yeah, after you throw me through the table when we listen to Blondie? Uh, and Ed wakes up and is like, oh, fuck, y'all. That demon went into the, uh, the big boy. Out of the little boy into the big boy. Yeah, because I guess they just thought that the exorcism was over. They're like, Ed's having a heart attack. He's down. Gilligan's down. We gotta help him. <laughs> and that's the end of that chapter. <laughs> and then Lorene calls the cops and is like, hey, something bad is gonna happen at this kennel. I wonder if that really happened. Like, if she was like, hen low, police. They made a crazed Hello. phone call. She might have. Can you imagine how many crazed phone calls would have come from the Warrens during their time? My feely mealy is attacking me. Yeah. A, a lot. Yeah. Uh, and then. Uh, yeah, we cut back to the house uh-huh, uh-huh. where they're partying a blondie with dogs barking. Oh, it's too and much. it's just phone un- ringing. Yeah, uncut gems level of noise Everyone's anxiety. sweaty. Oh, yeah. And then he. Uh, what is it? Arnie just like has a freak out and has a vision of the landlord owner guy as a demon yeah, who's attacking him and then stabs him yeah, like 20 times. Yeah. Yeah. And then comes to and oh, oopsie. Whoopsie. Wasn't a demon. I did. I did an oopsie doopsie. I'm sorry. (laughs) It's an old whooper pants. (laughs) Um, And then Ed, I guess, gets out of the hospital and him and Lorraine are like, hey, Female judge. What? <laughs> it was lawyer. Oh, yeah. single Sex, female yeah. lawyer. There we go. Yeah. Um, they're like, no, the devil made him do it. He was he was possessed. And then she's like, mm, I don't buy it. Watch yourself, McCoy. And yeah, and then they're like, okay, well, we'll take you for dinner at our house, and we'll convince you. And then we don't get to see that. No, and he he says you'll meet Annabelle. It's yeah. like, so you're just playing fucking fast and loose with this evil doll, huh? That's why they put the hinge on there. He brings it out all the time at parties. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see her party trick? Annabelle shooting ping pong balls out of her, like, Out of her snatch. watch. <laughs> 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 and then it just cut back into the lawyer being like, I plead. I, I plead the devil. The, the devil made me do it. Yeah. And the judge is like, sure, I'll accept that. No. Well, because this was the this case was the first time in American law that someone att- <laughs> attempted to be like the devil made me do it. Has it ever worked? I don't think so. Your Honor, my vibes were off that day. <laughs> vibe check. <laughs> my landlord didn't pass the vibe check. Yeah. I don't know. Well, <laughs> when we were at the park and like nine geese in a row hissed at me, you failed a vibe check. Yeah. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, I could punt one of those too. Geese are so scary, but like so easily strangleable. Well, you could take strangling a, a lot of geese these days. <laughs> They're okay. Our hands would fit so perfectly around a goose. <laughs> yeah, but it's got this beak and it's beaking at you. Well, it's like you got to handle feet it. Feet are going. You don't, no, no. You got to handle it like you handle a snake. You want to get the grip right behind the head oh, so it can't twist around and bite you. I think if you just like really quickly snatched up a goose by its neck and lifted it up, it'd be so fucking what the hell is happening. It wouldn't, it'd just be like, ah, ah. Yeah, <laughs> it'd probably. be very funny to see. <laughs> it'd be like Thanos force choking Yeah, and then throw it? I think that'd be very funny. You could beat a goose with another goose if you really wanted to. <laughs> Are they protected animals? I don't know. I still think it's abuse regardless of if they're <laughs> I, protected. I, I, I don't think... think you can have a goose fight. Are they, our... oh no, beaver are our national animal. Yeah, oh, could you imagine if it was a goose? Beaver's pretty lame too. Yeah, that's true. You know, Russia has a bear. It's pretty cool. Russia has a lot of stuff. Uh, What's the national animal of, like, England? A fucking badger? Uh, I don't know. Scotland's a unicorn. What are you fucking talking about? And Korea's about? is a Siberian tiger. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Like a beaver or, like, a little rat that makes <laughs> towards it's garbage. It's a fucking lion. Who? England. 
That is bullshit. Yeah, that's Scotland's the most... got the best what? A unicorn? Get out of here. Where'd the lion come from? I don't the, know. Like the, that's the symbol of like royalty. I yeah. understand that. But... Aslan. Yeah. Aslan. This is the name, right? Yeah. Anywho. Anyway, a little history corner over here. Oh, Mexico's is a golden eagle. That's fucking cool. We got a beaver. <laughs> oh, beaver rat. Right, Beavers let's... are kind of ornery and stinky, too. Yeah. I think Japan's is a monkey. Nice. Hmm, cool. Go on. <laughs> uh, so, Arnie Pie stabs his landlord 22 times. That's a lot. That's uh-huh. not just like a, oh, I thought you were a demon, so I gave you a little quick stab. That was like a, I'm on top of you, stabbing you for a while. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, that, I mean, he got the job done. Yeah, quite well, I think. Uh, so they're like, okay, we're going to plead demon. Demon. Oh, and then, uh, sorry, I, <laughs> I, ate a, I ate a lot of fried chicken. I'm sorry. Uh, so anyways, they're like, let's go back to the house where this started. And Lorraine, you get down there and root around there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going down there. He's I've got a bad ticker. Yeah. He I, is just exempt from physical labor the rest of his life. He does a lot of it in this movie, though. He does. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really sure what drove them to, like, we're going to root around under the foundation of the house. Because uh, they moved the um, the rug in the middle of the living room, and there was, like, r- weird rot. So then they went under the house to find out what rot the, what was rotting. It's fucking black mold. Yeah. It's it's black asbestos. blood. It's gut blood. Uh, and then they, so she roots around down in the, in the, under the house, under the foundation, and finds this weird altar. It's not even an altar, it's like, it's like a it's couple. It's a totem. It's a totem. couple bones, like, someone took an old sushi restaurant chopstick and, like, <laughs> took an old jawbone that they found and then, like, wired it onto it, and then we're like, I'm just gonna put that there. And I was saying that that's something that if we ever had to, like, take out any walls in our house, like, uh. I would totally, like, copy out, like, weird... Like sigils, yeah. yeah. So if someone was like knocking like the, the Silent place Hill, down, I was save. just gonna yeah. say the Silent Hill save Logo. symbol, yeah, yeah, like the seal of the Metatron or whatever. Yeah. What a lame name, Metatron. Metatron it's from the is Bible. Like Metatron's a voice. I know. I know we're going into your territory where you don't fully understand it. <laughs> Man, so many people have been dunking on you for being like, I thought they just <laughs> roughed Jesus up a bit. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I learned other things in school, like, uh... yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Metatron sounds like Megatron, and I hate it. That's fair. Okay, thank you. Uh, so they take it, she's like, weird, this thing, and took a bunch of pictures of it, but she just left it down there? Like, bash it to pieces. What the fuck? I don't, I don't know. know. She was like, it's a witch's totem. It's what Satanists use <laughs> when they're worshipping the devil's fabric. And, and then... Her, their assistant, who they never named, that he was just there. Yes. Yeah. Like, I, I don't recall them ever addressing him by name. I had to look it up Mm-mm. to see that he had a name. Um, I don't know if... I don't remember him from any of the other movies. He wasn't. I would have remembered him. Yeah. Like, uh, anyway, so they're like, hey, assistant, mm, um, send these pictures of this totem to all the police... Departments? Yeah, like, dear police, have you ever seen this chopstick with an old cat's <laughs> jawbone welded onto it? Well, it worked. Because it in Boston, they went and got some beans, and the cop <laughs> Go was like... Go Celtics. We... <laughs> cops... <laughs> the cops were like... Take your time. We, uh, yeah, shit, dude, we got one of them. <laughs> weird. <laughs> See, I thought it was a bit weird when it came in. <laughs> uh, and what was it, two girls went missing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was a sisters are doing it for themselves, going missing in the woods. We should do that. Go missing in the woods? I don't know. <laughs> It'd be kind of romantic. People would be like, do they go out into the woods to fuck? Or fuck? <laughs> what are they doing out there? Ooh. I'll be Gal Gadot. You be other Gal Gadot. <laughs> You'll be Wonder Woman. You be Wonder Woman 1984. Ooh. Oh. Uh, and then they're like, hey, we found this thing. These two girls went missing. They were besties. Besties. And then one died, and we don't know where the other one went. Well, yeah. yeah. So and they then they, to... they go and see the sci- evil scientist from Fringe. Well, you missed a part where they... They go to the woods first. They go to the woods because the rain's like, I know I can, I can... Yeah. What is it? Oh, we've been searching the woods for weeks. Yeah, but not with me. Yeah. Like, she pulls like that, what is it, the ghost guy from Hellboy. And, like, the cop is very, like, I don't, 
believe like this is stupid like i don't believe yeah but like it's a like, reasonable person but it's also like these people are like hey like this person got stabbed 22 times we found this fucking exact same thing under his house this girl got stabbed 22 times and you also found this like and then he's like what is this some sort of satanist cult and it's like yes. probably yes <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> like witchcraft aside you're getting it ice somebody's stabbing somebody 22 times and this thing is connected this is the 80s, though. They're like, I don't know, I got a typewriter, pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> but I think well, that, like... It was some... 81. They probably had, like, an electric typewriter. Ooh, yeah. I don't Ooh, know yeah. when those came around. Ooh. But it was also, like, the start of the satanic panic, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. And I think that, like, uh, police departments, some police departments will enlist psychics. Sure. That's whatever. I mean, the U.S. government used psychics. Didn't What's-Her-Face was, like... Uh... See, we're moving on from that statement. Good choice. Okay, wait, what did you say? <laughs> The U.S. military use psychics. Don't get into like this. Like psychic spies. Oh. Don't. don't remote yeah. viewing. We're remote viewing. So there. you would like, they could see like shit that was happening in Russia during the Cold War. What? Yeah. I don't believe that. They did. Well, I believe they did it, but. Well, to have a little fun. <laughs> okay. Just have fun with it. Have yeah. fun with your Cold War. <laughs> Spice it up a little. Um, Didn't that one, that psychic that everyone loved... Somebody I worked with loved her, and I was like, you're fucking stupid. Uh, Sylvia Brown. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Fucking moms love that shit. Yeah. Or, like, crossing over with with, a, what, with a John Edwards. Yeah. Yeah, people love him, too. And she was like, so, your daughter's dead, and then they found the kid or something more than once. It was that, those girls that got trapped in that house by that, like, Ariel Castrio guy or something. Okay. It was in, like, New Jersey. Yeah, I know what you're referring to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And she was like, your daughter's dead. And it was like, no, she was there the whole time. (laughs) Seems about right. Well, and I mean, like, that John Edwards, like, all they're doing is cold reading people. So it'd be like, I'm getting a name that starts with, like, a, like a, like a book? Like a... (laughs) Like (laughs) Like a, like a zip, 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 Zanzibar. Like... Does does someone know a, no, no, Phil? Like a Phil or or Bill? Phil, John, James. Did you say Phil or Bill? Yes. Yes. <laughs> James, Jim, what do like, you think I said? No, you like see someone like you. It's about reading like signs, right? Like you look at somebody who's young and crying, yeah. has a wedding ring on. Oh, I see that you're sad. I see that you're young. You were married. Yes, I was married. Oh, and your husband died sadly. Yeah. Yeah. Would no. die happily? Yeah. <laughs> he died like he lived. I'm free. <laughs> I'm a bit of a bitch of a wife. You know? I hate you. <laughs> My wife is a bitch and I don't like her. Well, you can die happily. Like, what if you, like, died face down in a big pile of muff or something? Well, there you go. That's not happy for the person who owns the muff. It's traumatizing. Well, as a muff owner, you need to be responsible <laughs> and understand Shit. that sometimes this might happen. Fuck, okay. You gotta put a leash on that thing. <laughs> I gotta double, double bag it with two merchants. <laughs> You can't run that thing off leash, you know. <laughs> this is not an off leash area. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're not welcome at the muff park. You got to get uh, one of those like choke chains and yeah. rein that shit back I gotta, in. You got to register with the city. <laughs> um, okay, so what the fuck? Oh, they're in the woods, and Lorraine's like, "Here's the girl. Ugh, she stabbed her friend, and then she ran off this fucking cliff." Yeah, and Lorraine is like doing the juking and jiving and stabbing the air. Yeah, which yeah. is like embarrassing in those pants. Well, that'd be like see, when you would see like Power Rangers kids like doing karate moves on their front lawn and there's nobody around. Were Power Rangers kids? Are you talking about me? Like <laughs> our generation's Naruto running kids? Absolutely, yes, one hundred and fifty percent. Um, I don't know. I was a Power Ranger. I was going to say, as a former Power Ranger kid. <laughs> I'm not that embarrassing. You're way more embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I've seen pictures of you as a kid. Oh, I thought you meant I'm more embarrassing now. I'm I, more embarrassing, I meant that. Yeah, I'm definitely more embarrassing now than I was when I was a child because now I don't have the gift of shame. Yeah. Or the burden of shame, I should say. No, no, it's a gift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways, what were you going to say? How many BTS meals you had? I haven't had a single BTS meal. How come? I don't like chicken nuggies that much. If it was like... Do it for Jimin. (laughs) I've given Jimin enough of my money. That's fair. If it was like... I don't think Jimin sees a dollar from this. (laughs) Jimin, if that's true, uh, please email us. Uh, No, I haven't had a single one. I don't like the chicken nuggies. If it was like a McChicken meal, I'd be into it. But I mean, couldn't you just get the sauces and get a McChicken and put it on those... I heard the sauces are buck nasty. 
You gotta mix them together. We That's should what just the get it and try me. it. Well, we should. Yeah. I don't know when the collaboration's ending. BTS X McDonald's <laughs> X McDicks. So well, they're like doing the, a they're, Loki Charm cereal, which we uh, that cannot be named. They're doing a <clears throat> beer collaboration right now, so I think they moved on from McDonald's. I hope the beer collaboration comes here. Yeah. I love with who? Cloud beer. Cloud with a K. So oh, you know it's fancy. I mean, maybe. Uh-huh. I was gonna say, is it just like Molson? <laughs> This is a Molson Canadian banquet with like that'd be fine. <laughs> that'd like at least Bud Light a, Lime. Oh my god! It's like just Pabst Blue Ribbon yeah. and BTS combining. Just, just a bead, like a portrait of each of them on the can, like those Pepsi cans from like Star Wars Episode One. Oh, I'd fuck with that in a big way. Yeah. If you're listening, um, anyways. So the chick died. She chucked herself off a cliff into the fucking quarry. Yeah. What you do. My goal is to die next to the quarry, but this chick died inside of it, <laughs> so they're like, okay. This is the other like unbelievable part of this movie that the Warrens show up at the morgue. Oh yeah. They no, they don't show they up. Break they in. break in. Oh, right. Yeah, because Ed just smashes the front right. window. Yeah. They, oh, they did a B and then an E. Yes. yes. And then <laughs> You can't E, e before the B. <laughs> <laughs> the B is crucial. Yes, yeah. So they roll out to the morgue and are like, let's commit petty larceny and I don't know then they're like let's go down to like the the, the groovy ghoulies yeah. downstairs and the lady that got pulled out of the quarry which was a lot smaller than she would have been like if you're waterlogged like you'll okay. get real big you'll get there there's a real big one coming up yeah yeah so Lorraine's like oh, okay I gotta hold this dead lady's like gross ghouly hand and it's covered in what looks like like a like a like a slime. Like a slime of some some variety. She was all wet. Like a Sadako situation. Yeah, or a or a frog. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the dichotomy of man. Yeah, you're either Sadako or a froggy. Uh, so then Lorraine is like, "I'm seeing a vision," and then she sees this wizened old old bitch at like an altar, like a witch fucking around. Yeah, that's exactly what she was doing, fucking around. It was like a lady in like a in a Ruth Bader Ginsburg dress. Yeah, <laughs> fart <was> you. <laughs> I mean, that lady's like outfit was iconic, and I definitely wanted it. Yeah, she was dressed like Wednesday Adams. Yeah, she had like a Wednesday Adams vibe. She had like a nice collar, like a brooch. And and then Lorraine's <laughs> like, "Hey, hey, you!" And then the witch hey, is like, wh- "Hey, how are you doing this?" <laughs> and they were in the same evil room. And then uh, she was like, "Hey." Fuck you, Lorraine Warren, the witch says. And Lorraine's <laughs> like, no, fuck you. Stop this. And then, meanwhile, back in the morgue, this big fat dude comes alive and is like, ah! This body that's dead is now alive again. <laughs> yes. And runs at old Eddie. And he was, like, like waterlogged, too. You know, people, like, just... They probably found one, and they were like, hey, maybe you should just keep looking yeah, at I this mean, quarry. Well, we're down here. Yeah, I mean, we're... D- yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Don't waste money. Yeah. They, they were very waterlogged. And, the, uh, like, the guy was, like, the size of Andre the Giant. Like, he was a big guy. He was big. big but he boy. was charging around in his boxer shorts, which wasn't as cool. He was like Randy Bobandy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Banders. <laughs> and then uh, they're like, we figured out that the witch is the one who's doing that. And then this movie took a real Holmes and Moriarty turn. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> like, because the witch was like the witch when she appeared to Arnie was like a ghost. Yes, that's why I was so fucking confused. So I was like, okay, so this bitch is dead. No, she was like alive and bitter. Yeah, well, like I said, she was like a spinster. I think she can infernally project. <sighs> it's like astral projection, but evil. She was like an evil Miss Havisham. So, Miss Havisham. Yeah. And then they were like, they found out that her, oh, they go to the the old priest, who was the dad, or the doctor from Fringe, also the dad from Fringe. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you're fucking around with this. Stop that, because this is evil witchcraft. <laughs> and I've seen, I've seen this before. So, s- stop. <laughs> Don't mess with this. Let that kid go to jail. <laughs> and then at this point, we were like, oh, right. That part of the movie. Yeah. I think we have forgot, like, one of the most important parts with this, like, evil doctor uh. was that he invites Lorraine Warren into his house and then scrambles to get into his basement <laughs> before her. And he's like, follow me down here, but give me a, about a two minute lead. <laughs> and then she comes down to the darkened basement. And as she's like, hello, evil priest, he just turns a desk light on and he's sitting there. <laughs> hello. <laughs> just in the dark. For the drama of it. Okay, honestly. 
So now that we have realized that so many things can be explained away with for the drama of it all, it's so freeing. It is. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. I'm just, just going to sit like, I'll, I'll be like, hey, Riggs. Yeah, you coming over. Okay, perfect. Turn all the lights off. Yeah. Doors unlocked. So just light yourself in. I'll just be sitting downstairs. We'll just be standing there holding yeah. candles. Sure. Living theatrically. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have fun with it. Um, so, so, variety is a spice of life. So then um, they're like, we know that this is that witch who's doing this, but we don't really know why. Yeah. Oh, and then... When Ed's having his fart attack, uh, they discover that there's a witch's totem in yeah, his so, office. Yeah, sorry. He has a second heart attack in his home because <laughs> yes. he falls flat on his face. And it was very funny. It was great because I don't like Ed Warren. No. I don't know if I picked that up. So, <laughs> hey. Um, yeah, has another heart attack. Whatever's going he on. He has a fart attack. Yeah. yeah. And then he's like hunting around the house all fucking crazy. Yeah. Goes into his office. Which didn't contain the feeling mealy this time. No. I'm fucking mad. Um, and then it's like, oh, where did these black roses come from? Blah. Danzig sent them. Um, <laughs> Daniel. Yeah. And he picks them up and like crushes the roses all fucking dramatically. For and the then, drama of it all. Yeah. yeah. And then drops the narrow necked vase oh, I freaked onto out the ground this. to smash it. And what's inside the narrow necked vase? A very large totem. Perfectly in place on the floor. Yeah. So I went bananas at this point. Because over an arguably terrible arts and crafts project, you went insane. So either they made the vase around the totem and then put it in the kiln, painted it, waited the four weeks or whatever it is. You got to go back to Four Cats Art Studio. (laughs) Or she made it like a ship in a bottle. Yeah. No, I I like the ship in a bottle idea because I want the I want the whole spin-off of this to be the witch making <laughs> these things. She can do her own YouTube series. It doesn't have to be a movie, but it can be like a YouTube series that's like, Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna be doing witchy crafts today, so stay tuned. And then you see her, okay, so I get these bones from a vet office. They're ethically sourced. And so these are the chopsticks that I get out of the garbage at the local Asian food restaurant. Wait, waste not, want not. <laughs> Wink. Be sure to, while you're here, click and subscribe and also play Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> and then she's like, okay. Okay, she's got her like little outfit on with her little brooch and yeah. her white collared Ruth Bader Ginsburg outfit. And she's like, okay. And then it gets, like, one of those jeweler's loops on, like, with the, like, <laughs> and then, like, gets, like, one of those big-ass lights, and then it's, like, all right. So she's got, like, <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> and then she's got, like, the neck of the vase. She's, like, okay, so first we're going to place the chopstick. You got to do this very carefully. And she's, like, sticking her tongue out a little bit, biting it, like, like the concentration face. Like, mm. why don't you make this video? <laughs> I mean, I'm already dressed the part. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ugly. I have a Ruth Bader Ginsburg dress. I hate humanity. <laughs> Lots of bones laying around. I mean, this lady's iconic. This could be your side hustle. <laughs> and while you're there, be sure to... What's that other thing? Play well, Rage. <laughs> I thought you were going to blow through the wall when I said <laughs> that. that. Was really what's funny. the other thing that people uh, like hustle on YouTube a lot? They say, smash oh, that motherfucking like button. Oh, smash that like button, and I want to tell you all about NordVPN. Yeah, I was going to say a fucking <laughs> VPN. But before we get to that, yeah, and let sure, me tell you about NordVPN. Yeah, and make sure to follow me on TikTok. I'll sell you these like bomb booty leggings or whatever. I also love on Twitter where it'll be like some tweet, and then you'll like open it and it'll be like, ladies, this vibrator will suck your clit right off. <laughs> Have you seen those? No. Oh my god. I'm not on clit Twitter, so no. No, 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 no. It's like if you get like a tweet that's like a lot of retweets yeah. and stuff, all these like marketers will like I've obviously oh, it's never whisper, happened to yeah, me. No, never. And it's like twenty bucks and it's like there's one where it's like a, a vibrator and then there's one that's like a light that makes it look like there's a sunset in your room. You guys haven't seen these? Yeah, I've seen the light. I've never seen the vibrator oh. that'll suck my clit off. <laughs> wow. I'm looking forward to it though. <laughs> Um, so I'm, so it's just this one broad doing this for like the drama of it all. She's, ha ha, it's me, Moriarty. <laughs> it's, like, I'm doing this because I'm an antagonist. Uh, I guess like, I, like why is she specific? Like, so yeah, she like, crawled under this fucking house and left this totem. Like, and then I don't know where she left the other totem for those two girls to find. They never got into that. No, they, they just didn't said care. They found it. Yeah. Well, and, she also had pictures of these people. Like, like this lady had to be getting a lot of stuff done in her day. She but it's was like, like a jigsaw situation where we'll get a sequel to this. It'll be like it'll the conjuring. Yeah. Yeah. 
It'd be like the Conjuring 3.5 where it's we'll just be like, like her assistance. Yeah. Setting up setting up for her. She lived in tunnels. It's actually their little like uh the Warren's assistant. He was the fucking guy the whole time. That actually be pretty good. <laughs> And they, would, they just acted like he was always there. Well, and she had like a spooky altar room. She lived in, in like, tunnels. And the the dad priest was just, he was just like, I haven't seen my daughter in a while. She must be underground. Get out from under there. Yeah, like, get the broom. <laughs> just like, I'll get a smoker out. Because <laughs> they go back to the priest. And, he, and like I said, I was like, well, it's going to be like. He's obviously evil. Like he's all like, but he was just kind of like. Bleh. He stared too long into the abyss, and because he was obsessed with the occult, uh, the yakult. <laughs> I think that's just fermented milk. It makes your tummy feel better. <laughs> uh, then she became obsessed with the occult. Yes, yeah, she liked the occult, uh. and it it. And I mean, she was kind of like creepy. So I think like having lots of bones around, she was just like, I don't have any friends. So I'll be friends with the bones. Well, and he said, I had her in secret because I was a priest or whichever one can't have kids. But then they, when they met him, he was like, I retired. And it's like, well, why didn't you just retire when you had the kid? Like you already committed the sin. Right? Like damned if you do, you did. Like the- <laughs> they should have rolled up and he should have had his suspenders on and just a shirt that said sinning and winning. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what? It was very dumb. And, like, how would you, like, maybe he, oh, maybe he was, e- like, evil in his own way and he, like, made her live in the tunnels to keep her secret. Well, we'll find out when the Conjuring 4 tunnel rats comes out. No, no, it'll be the Conjuring 4 open the door or some sort of stupid shit. Oh. The Conjuring 5 staying the con- alive. The Conjuring 6 pick up sticks. Like, <laughs> I can just go on and on like this. <laughs> the Conjuring 7 minutes in heaven. <laughs> That's the porn. Five minutes in heaven with Ed Warren. I'd love that. We're no. just having a heart attack. <laughs> For four of the five minutes. Ed, no! No! <laughs> Sweating on top of you. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Well, okay. No, Rigby. Have you seen what actual Ed Warren I'm not talking like? about actual Ed Warren. I'm talking about oh, Pat Patrick Wilson. <laughs> Rootin' tootin' Patrick no. Wilson. I'm still standing by my miscasting when, earlier when I thought it was Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, this demon Lorraine, I don't know. Wow, is Loki here? Um, so then, I don't know. I was like, is this the movie going to be ending in a chick fight? And then and it, it did. It did. It was like, it's like, uh, tonight, uh, Sunday, 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 <laughs> we the got- the Metrodome. We got two hot psychic foxy boxing in the, in the left corner. We got Lorraine Warren. She's got the blue trunks. <laughs> yeah, it was- well, and then Ed rolls up. With a sledgehammer. And now he's rooting around in the tunnels. He's setting the stage. <laughs> and then the, the evil woman runs up to him and goes, and blows dirt in his <laughs> Yeah, she gives the old pocket sand. Yeah. Pocket sand is a, that's like a throwback to like some like voodoo stuff. Like that's like. Or the, Dale Gribble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, ah, my eyes are like clouding over. Old school voodoo. <laughs> it's the serpent and the rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> Which is also a great. Book and movie. Oh, I've tried to watch the movie a couple of times, and I was like, ugh. There's, like, long. We had a discussion about this last night when we were watching Highway to Hell. Uh, there's certain things that you can't handle. Me? Yeah, there's oh, certain yeah. movies that you're, like... You're not built for them. Yeah, no. that's fair. That one last night, if you... If we got if we got you to stick around for about 40 minutes, then you'd be fine with it. Oh. But the opening, you'd be like, no, absolutely not. Only a couple of movies have broken me. Greasy Strangler? The Greasy Strangler, and I can't remember the other Black one. Black Devil Doll from Hell. But, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then also that Wuzo movie, or Ugo, or Wango. Oh, I Am Zozo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh-woo. Ooh-woo. <laughs> that is a fucking horror movie. Ooh-wee. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you were like, we're absolutely not watching I Am Zozo. Oh, and Charlie Charlie. We, we couldn't watch that one either. Oh, that was like two minutes. I was like, no. Yeah. Mm-mm. Uh. Anyways, so Led's possessed, and he's <laughs> swinging a sledgehammer around, and it was quite funny. He tries to kill Lorraine, yeah. and I'm like, I wonder how much of the uh, spousal abuse that took place in the Warren household was just like, no, oh, the the devil made me do it. Hey, Bob. Yeah. See, they retcon <laughs> that away with this as well. The alleged. <laughs> did, did they retcon the alleged pedophilia as well? Oh. Yikes. 
Uh, anywho, Ed's swinging a sledgehammer around, and then he's like, Lorraine, I love you. We one time kissed under a gazebo, and then, like, he becomes himself again. Yeah, because then, of the power of love. He It's lo- the power, power of, of love! love. Yup. <laughs> he had seen that, uh, what's that fucking movie? The space movie where love is the answer. Oh, Interstellar. Interstellar. Yes. Uh, where you have, the, like, the magic bookcase with the dust. Yeah. That's why you don't dust, so Matthew McConaughey behind your bookcase can, like... That's, that's a good reason to dust. Yeah, that's an amazing reason to dust. <laughs> it keeps Matthew McConaughey I'll be right out. back. I'm going to go dust right now. Yeah, it's like an apple a day. It's like dusting a day keeps McConaughey away. <laughs> um, so then she's like, remember me? We kissed in that gazebo when we were both younger and better looking. <laughs> and then he, like, smashes the table... That like the altar that the witch has because like that's I guess the connection of her power yeah. and then the witch is like hey fuck you guys we wrecked my table and that I, like, I got from point, home deep deep pot <laughs> and at this point I was like this is just a chick just yeah. push her over yeah she's just some lady in a collar <laughs> nice lady <laughs> and a Ruth Bader Ginsburg cosplay and then she starts doing like she starts popping and locking and it's because the devil <laughs> dude Pingley is like I gotta take your soul I came here for a soul but like what was the point what did you do this for was the demon if there was even a line where she was like my baby died or something and this the demon said that he can bring it back like she was, seemed to be just doing it for the yucks yeah cause it's evil <laughs> she did That's, it for the, yeah. she, she did it for the lulls <laughs> get out <laughs> Of your own home. That reminds me. Do you remember that Smiley movie? I've never seen it. It's, oh, fuck. It's not bad. Okay, can we watch it, please? Yeah. Oh, we yeah. also got to watch Dracula 2000 so you can learn about <gasps> Judas. <laughs> so, like, my Bible studies. Anywho, it takes, like, the altar cup question mark, which looks like something that you would buy at, like, one of those spiritualist stores that sells sterling silver jewelry. And fireworks. You... <laughs> yeah, they sell fireworks, sterling silver jewelry, like, tapestries of Buddha. Uh-huh. Uh, incense. The place smells like a uh, like sweat pot and neg champa. And Ugh. when you walk in the store, it has one of those like motion sensor thing that's a frog and it croaks. Yep. <sighs> yeah, we're just describing a store in town. <laughs> yep. Yes, we sure are. <laughs> so he takes this like cup and it's like brass. It's got like a fake antler on it, and then like a weird cauldron thing. Like it looks like something that like a black metal band would like put fake blood in in a music video and yeah. like dump it on the front. Oh yeah, of that's that's how they would open their ceremony, aka their show at the local bar. Yes. God, I would <laughs> give anything to go to one of those. Mom, did you pack my altar cup? My chalice? One day. It's in the hockey bag in the back. One day soon we'll be able to go to a local black metal band ceremony. And then I'll be like, this rules and then ten minutes later I'll be like, I'm Let's scared go home. and want to go home. <laughs> Uh, I've had my fill. Right? <laughs> um, so he, Ed takes it back to their r- hoose of horrors. And then he's like, hey, so here's this gazebo I built for you to remind you of the power of love. Oh, and also the guy went to jail. For, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Despite pleading that the devil made him do it. The judge was like, nah, dog. And then he got sent to jail for five years. Uh, for first degree man slaughter, yep. <laughs> you can't spell manslaughter without laughter. And then he was like, "Hey, so I'm pretty pissed off at you guys, but uh, I'm gonna let it hang." And then yeah, the family of like Dave Glatzer, like the little boy who got possessed, ended up suing the Warrens. Uh. Because they felt that the Warrens were exploiting their story by writing that book, The Devil in Connecticut. They would never. The Warrens. They're good would, people. Yeah, they would never exploit anyone. How dare you? Never never exploit mental illness and like grieving families. No. And, hey, they mm-hmm. gave them $2,000. It was $2,000 in 1981 We didn't have money. to give you that money. They gave them $2,000 doll hairs. I wonder how much the book actually made. Like More than like, that. Yeah. More than two thousand dollars. Yeah, so it's, you should try to get read the book. Is it good? Well, if, if someone wants to send me a copy of the book or like a fucking Kindle edition, I'll read the Wasn't shit out of it. That the movie that I actually liked, Haunting in Connecticut. Yeah, about the guy. Didn't they live in like a? I think you're thinking. I think it's it's a also funeral in, home. I think it's also in Connecticut, but I don't think it's the same I story. I like that one, Haunting in Connecticut. You should say Connecticut. Connecticut. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. That one was good. Like, remember when they were like that funeral home and yes. there's all the bodies in the walls? Yes. Maybe it was somewhere else. No, like, it was Illinois. It's, a, it's like a haunting Illinois. in Connecticut. Oh. It's a haunting in Connecticut. I'm God, pretty what's sure. What's going on in Connecticut? I don't know. White people. <laughs> White people <laughs> doing stuff. Uh, so, anyways, the end. 
Finn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In 2016, regarding further potential sequels, James Wan stated, there could be many more Conjuring movies because the Warrens have so many stories. I think it should have said James Wan threatened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you threatening? Uh, so people like this movie? Um, I, yeah, some people well, did. It's some got a didn't. 57% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yikes of bikes. Which basically means that Rotten Tomatoes hates it, I think, because... Who? It's a movie. It, isn't it like it's either 90... But I mean, like ninety five or like yeah, it's either 50. Paddington Bear yeah quality. Um, so it grossed like sixty seven point six million. Well, considering That's, half the know, movie theaters aren't an, open, yeah. But I mean, it it cost thirty nine million to make, so it still made money. Of course, it did. Like it made twenty seven million dollars. It almost made twice like what it what it fucking cost. Yeah, I guess the people go on. People love seeing Patrick Wilson have heart attacks. <laughs> I thought he was going to have a heart attack as Night Owl and fucking Watchmen when he was banging that broad. Yeah. Or banging Lena Dunham and girls. I didn't see girls. I don't like... I was like, hmm, all these women seem awful. Yeah. Hey, do you want us to show about uh, women who are insufferable? Do I have the show for you? (laughs) I presume. It also had Adam Driver in it. People remember like two years ago when people were like really thirsty for Adam Driver? What was that about? I know lots of people who are thirsty for him and I can't stand... Well... Did you know, I have a question okay. for the class. Did you know that people are thirsty for Tom Holland? The kid with the frog in his mouth. What? <laughs> okay, because Scott was just like, I fucking hate him. I can't Because he looks like him. he's got a hamster in his mouth. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. He seems like an okay kid to me. I don't know. He's not 60, so I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I know. People like. People get I back get to it. me in a few years. He, he seems likable. Ugh. I don't know. I was like, I was, for some I was looking yeah. up Loki TikToks, and then uh-huh. I found like a like stan pages for Tom Holland, and I was just like, people stan this guy. Yeah, people yeah. Will stan a rock at this point. People like, stan. I get it. S- some people don't stan because they're too old. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it's that's upsetting. true. I sure stan. <laughs> Were uh, Loki stands in this house? Oh yeah, I love Loki. I love Tommy Hiddleston a lot. <sighs> Tommy. Okay, so I have to tell you about a Tom Hiddleston dream I had. Uh oh. So it was last night. Should this be recorded? <laughs> It wasn't anything like that. Uh, Save that for my fan fiction. Uh oh. Uh, so Tom Hiddleston just became like a bumhouse movie star. I would love for that to happen <laughs> in real life. I hope this was a premonition. Maybe it is. Just like us going to Jugmeet Singh's bar. I hope that that came true. Comes true. Come to true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do we give uh, the Conjuring Three? The 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 devil made me do it. The con is on. I give it two fart attacks. Out of, no, I give it one fart attack out of six. Yeah, I'm gonna give it like. You know what? Uh-oh. No. Oh jeez. I'm gonna give it zero feely mealies. <gasps> it was boring, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna give it zero. Yeah, I'll give it one. Patrick are, Wilson falling too, on you his guys face. Are way too nice. Zero feely mealies out of six. The late. You know what? <laughs> what? Yeah, zero feely mealies. The only redeeming part. Was the demon shower curtain hand? Yeah, and the witch lady's like cool Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, cosplay. I don't know. I got to see Patrick Wells fall on his face a couple times. So yeah. that's pretty good. I wonder if he's nice. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's a decent human being. Yeah, he gives me dad vibes. Not daddy, just dad. Like I discussed, he'd be like, "I'll oh, fix the lawnmower's not working. Let yeah. me tinker with it." I'm like, hey. "Oh shit, you fixed it?" I'm like, yeah. This drain's plugged. Oh, I'll yeah. get to that uh, in an hour or so. Yeah. Like, can you hang the shelf up? He's like, yeah. I can. Yeah, like, let me oh go my get God. my level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You no, know, he can eyeball it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Playing fast and loose with hanging a shelf. Fuck, I hung up a picture the other day I eyeballed it. Showing Matt, I was like, yeah, I eyeballed that. Just one nail. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet he did. <laughs> so this is a graveyard. No. It's a... Mm, hmm. This That's movie felt shrug. like it was like three and a half hours long. It, it was felt two hours so long. long. Like it wasn't even two hours long. And we minutes. ate food during it too, which usually feels like it speeds up the movie. Mm-mm. Anyways. But you know what is good? Mm. Loki on Disney+. Plus. Okay. Are you getting paid? <laughs> I, I sure know, maybe, would like to. I sure would like to. Maybe Tom Hiddleston will notice me. We Tom. should do a Loki. After the season's over, we should do like a... Like a recap. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I rewatched Loki too. Of course you did. Mm. Loki 2? Two as in as well. Oh, as I thought they made a lo- another Loki movie. No, well, they have Loki, or like Thor, then Thor the Dark World, and then Thor Ragnarok. See, I know just enough. 
Yeah. And that might be too much. Yeah. Yeah. Agre- ag- ag- agree. Anyways, I'm going to go home and watch 27 Marvel movies to catch up for... Uh... Fuck. And then two series and read 10 hundred ah! freaking comics. Okay. So, Conjuring 3, Devil Made Me Do It. It's a... Meh. I mean, a lot of people are going to mm. jerk this thing off. But it's super boring. Mm-hmm. And there's really nothing cool that happens. Mm. And they don't explain, like, why the witch was doing any of the devilment at all. For fun. Just drama for, for just yucks for, for the lulls. Yeah, which is always stupid. And then they like blamed a bunch of stuff on Satanists, and like Satanists. She was a pretty... Satanist, wasn't she? Or she just like bored? She's like, I hate my dad. I live in the tunnels. <laughs> that I think. Mm. I don't Anyways, know. you know you, your rebellious years. Yeah. Oh, I remember when I lived in the tunnels and I would do the evil. It's coming back to me. Yeah. 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 I've got some evil to do later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Me too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's gonna take us to the end of this episode. So be sure to tune in next time. We're gonna do a sexy episode. Oh, oh so sexy. Oh, yeah. I love when we watch sexy erotic movies together. It's happened more than once. It's yeah. happened. It will have happened at least three times. Yes. Twice for the podcast, and once just for fun. Yeah, yeah, and then other times for fun too. Yeah, but we don't talk about those Uh-oh. times. Not on air. It's not not for use in polite company. Mm. So anyways, yeah, be sure to check us out online at drunkinagraveyard.com. Be sure to vote for us as best local podcast in the Kamloops BC Now podcast award for Kamloops. Uh, we won last year, and we're, we're hoping we're, we got our fingies and our dicks crossed oh. for year two. Take home that gold for great podcasts like this one. <laughs> the, the devil made me poo it. <laughs> And while you're there, check us out on social media. On Twitter, we are Drunk Graveyard. On Instagram and Facebook, we are Drunk in a Graveyard. YouTube.com forward slash Drunk in a Graveyard. And until next time, uh, make sure to put your witch totem in the bottle according to the YouTube tutorial that I'll link below. And yeah, always stay spooky. Bye. Bye.